What's going on guys? This is Damien from The Lookout and I'm here today with Paul. Paul took the fourth place at the Pircon event with his Trunks Vegeta. Say hi, Paul. Hey, everyone. Uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, so please show us the deck. It's it's a really awesome deck. It's Paul is going to talk about this. Just, just listen, it was awesome. Yeah, so I played uh, Trunks Vegeta, which is pretty popular right now. Um... I figure it has a good chance in uh, the tournament because you can easily sideboard with it. Um, so let me go over my main deck and then we'll go over the sideboard. So I played uh, two Bulmas, the Searchers, four Trunks one drops, and four Trun uh, four Vegetas. To me, that's the standard package. I would not change that in any Trunks Vegeta deck. Um, for my super combos, I played one Zamasu and three Krillins. Uh, the Zamasu came in handy multiple times during the tournament. Tapping big battle cards is pretty nice. And we draw so much with the leader that you don't really need the four Krillins, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I played two Bardock, uh, Father and Son. Uh, this is not as common card in a lot of decks, but I think it's really good. Um, Basically, what it does is if your opponent has three or more energy, you can play for free. And you choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and switch to the rest mode. Um, yep. So this actually came in handy many, many times during this tournament. Um, especially when a cell player would restand their A drop. Then I'll just play the Bardock and tap it down again. Um, so it was pretty good. Yeah, that, that really ruined their game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Standard for Trunks and for Vegetas. Gotta have him for the draw power. That's the whole deck basis around those cards. Uh, two Cooler, just so I make sure I see it uh, for the kill turn. Yeah, the... Uh, four Mecha Freezes. Mm -hmm. um, even though it's a little bit worse now with a lot of U7 Goku going around because they can counterplay it quite easily. Um, it's still a must-have. I played a two uh, Son Goku Steadfast Assistance, the counterplay. Um, I cut it down to two because a lot of cards have deflect these days. Um, it just doesn't doesn't do as much as it used to, but it's still pretty good. So you kind of have to have it. Um, and I played one Son Goku uh, Absolute Annihilation. I actually did not play this card once in the whole tournament and I would probably remove it from the deck. It's too slow for this deck. So, so. did you usually end up like sideboarding it for something else, or did yeah. you just stay in Yeah, there? that was one of the cards that would always go out mm -hmm. to the sideboard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I had three turtles all too easy for the board removal. Um, very self-explanatory. Yeah. One Bergamo, you can of only course. play one. Of course. And one Celzino as my SCR. So how come that is your uh, SCR of choice? Celzino? Um, basically, it lets me end the game turn five. Mm -hmm. um, without the Celzino, sometimes it's pretty hard to close out the game. Um, and yeah, it's just, it won me, I think, at least two games in the tournament. So yeah, yeah. It, it, it was doing what it was supposed to. For our viewers who are just trying to get into Trunks Vegeta deck, uh, what did you usually then, uh, if they want to get Celzino, what do they usually look for successor at turn five when you're playing it? Yeah, so I most of my games I would have the uh, blocker on board. I probably would have uh, the one drops from mm -hmm. leader swing, so that's already five. But I'll usually have either a Turles or another Vegeta, the three drop. Um, and really, this Bardock is pretty nice, too, because it's a free play, so I can just get him out there, and that's plus two. It makes it easier to get to 12. So Awesome. Again, again it's it's pretty nice. I, I highly recommend. Uh, awesome. Okay, so that's that. Let's see. Uh, uh, Unisons. I only played two Unisons, the Trunks, mm -hmm. um, mostly for board control and the... Dual attack is nice against uh, opponent's unisons. The board wipe, obviously, is pretty clutch sometimes. So that was nice. And then my extra cards, I guess. I had two Forbidden Power. Um, 
again, in some matchups, Mecha Frieza gets counterplayed. That's when you rely on for Forbidden Power, um, especially in the U7 matchup, which I did not play a single U7 this weekend, but it was still pretty good in other matchups. Yeah, there wasn't uh, well, yeah, sorry, sorry. There wasn't a lot of U7 if I recall correctly, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, that that was surprising to me. Mm. Um one release from Evil. I haven't seen um, this forever. So, basically what it does is if you have a yellow unison card in play, you can play it for free. Um and you choose the attacking card, ignoring barrier, negate its skills for the turn, and it cannot be switched to active mode until the start of your next turn. So it's really good against like big unisons in this meta. I was expecting to see the green cooler deck with um, the Frieza, the golden Frieza unison, mm -hmm. triple attack, dual, triple strike, dual attack guy. Yeah. Um, and you can just counter him with this and it removes the triple strike from him. He cannot untap at the end to block with him. It's really nice against like big unisons or big battle cards with double strike or triple strike. So, um, yeah, it's really nice in this format. Yeah, excellent, excellent, spicy choice, man. <laughs> Two uh, realm of the gods, black kameha. Um, you know, tapping cards, just good defense card. Again, sometimes you don't want to be playing with Mecha Frieza, so this helps against those matchups. Uh, one power of the Super Saiyan. Just for you know, limit one. Otherwise, everyone um, would play four of. Uh, Vegeta's final flash. Uh, I used it against the cell deck to negate the skills of their eight drops and then heal it with like my Vegeta uh, three drop, who would swing when they're tapped and just instantly kill them. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, and two token negates. Yeah, um, the standard. That, Standard. I'll probably if I if I was to make one change in this deck, I'll get rid of the Goku and probably add another token again. That, that's the only change I would make. Um, okay. And then I played two Poutine just to make sure I see her. One Champa or I, uh, one Bardock. Awaken Instincts just for extra draw sometimes when I needed it. Mm -hmm. um, and one Mira Assault from the Skies. I chose this Mira over the one that um, gets a bunch of uh, combo power when uh, you have, depending on the cards on your work. Yes, yes. She, I chose this one because uh, she's a 5k combo. She's also double strike without the Champa, which mm -hmm. is nice. Uh, she does cause one energy to play, but you draw a card, and if your opponent manages, manages to live, you actually untap the energy uh, at the end of your turn, so she's essentially free if uh, if she doesn't kill them. So it's it's pretty nice. It's interesting to hear about these choices, because I think that everyone is still like in between what to play now that fighting against <laughs> fate is gone. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, The, the overround has not been figured out yet, I don't think. And then I guess my sideboard. Uh, yeah, this was the best of one pre-side event. So here's the sideboard. Yeah, so <clears throat> Koitsukai, yellow matchups, blue matchups, pretty good. Uh, Son Gohan, mostly for the mirror matchup. Mm -hmm. Just get rid of their one drops, ignoring barrier. Good stuff. <laughs> Sorry, give me one second. Let me get a drink. Sure. <clears throat> okay. Uh, then I had Mechikamura. For any matchup that you know what they're going to do on certain turns. Again, I expected more U7 Goku. I didn't play it at all this weekend. Um, for any hand control matchups. <laughs> I thought cool, uh, cooler unison deck is gonna be more uh, popular, but it yeah, didn't really come up. Green really didn't like represent itself this event, which which was also a shocker to me. <laughs> I was expecting green to be everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, really, from evil, just another copy for cooler. Really, like I was really scared of cooler to be honest. Like that unison is really, really 
really annoying. Yeah, yeah, that's a strong deck, man. Um, three tyrannical blow. Um, <clears throat> this came up against Cell the most. Mm -hmm. Basically, um, it negates the skills of a card that costs three or less. Um, and then I can choose another battle card or unison card and negate mm -hmm. their skills as well. Um, in one of my matchups, I managed to uh, negate the uh, skills of the Vegeta unison before they did a plus two. So they were left at two markers and I was able to kill it as, as soon as their turn ended. So really good against the uh, Cell deck. <laughs> nice. Nice. And Cell deck um, is everywhere, guys. So, like, now you know what to side if you're playing Transjita. Yeah, this this won me a game against one of the Cell matchups. I lost another Cell matchup because they played the Frieza Unison, which I did not expect. Oh, yeah. um, I would never expect that. No yep. way. Um, another Forbidden Power against U7. One more Final Flash, just in case... I needed it for some matchups. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then Death Blaster, that's only for the Cell matchup to stop their kill turn with, you know, their extra card, um, which plays the perfect force. Uh, yeah, the cell. 7 drop from the leader. Yeah. Yep. And then I had one Piccolo the Gate opener. Um, this card basically was against U7. Uh, when they played the Vegeta SCR, they burn one of their your life. So <laughs> this card lets you play it and replace the life you lost with a uh, top card of your deck. It didn't come up because I didn't play any U7s. Oh. Yeah, like I, I see you you prepped heavily against U7, so I would think you <laughs> you consider that like your worst matchup then for this deck. Yeah, I, I just, I really thought there's going to be a ton of U7, but it just didn't happen. Um, yeah, that was <laughs> very surprising at this event. Yeah, and other matchups, really, the only other matchup I was afraid of was Cell. Mm -hmm. But as you, as you saw my sideboard, I had plenty of answers, so I figured those two matchups were the only ones I had to worry about. Um, Overall, uh, other game. What did I play against? I, uh, my first game was against the Cell, and mm -hmm. I lost that one. Again, he uh, he just played a Frieza Unison on a turn I didn't expect, and that closed out the game. Um, my game two was against uh, Goku Wish. Um, that one wasn't too bad for me. Uh, next was, I believe, another Cell. Yeah, another Cell. Um, he played his Celzino at final flash in hand that he didn't rip out, so I was able to survive. Nice, nice. <laughs> and then game four, I played uh, launch, uh, red green launch. Um, that was pretty tough for a while until I managed to clear his board with uh, the trunks unison. Um, and once that happened, that was pretty good. And my last game was against uh, the Blue Gohan, the the one that plays skillless cards from uh, their energy. Uh, yes, um, yes. And that game was uh, very tough. We went to time, and I just won because I had more uh, battle cards on board. So yeah, I know um, I played against that deck as well. That was very tough, man. Like. Yeah, he played the uh, Goku sign package too, so it was uh, it was a tricky one, but I managed to survive. So overall, it was a really fun tournament. I'm really happy that um, the Polish community was able to organize such event. Um, and I hope there's more of them in the future. I hope Bandai <coughs> helps the European community and organizes more events for us. Um, so yeah, that's my deck. Awesome. Thanks for sharing the deck. Do you have any final shout outs that you want to give? Or um, yeah, shout outs obviously to the Polish DBS community. Shout outs to my training partners, uh, buddies, uh, you know, um, in Warsaw. 
And especially shout out to uh, Mr. Bartek who recommended the uh, the two trap. This card was really clutch the whole day, and nobody expected it. So I think this card should be played in most of uh, <clears throat> yellow decks these days. It's really good. Nice, you've heard it here first, guys. Like this, this is the new staple that that you got to get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah that's that's it for me uh and thanks for having me on man thank you yeah, i appreciate thanks it. for joining us so that was the deck guys hit that like and subscribe button we'll be bringing more very soon